I'm Shar. She, her, or they, them. Um, and I'm here to talk to you about email today. Uh, and uh, my, my qualifications for talking to you about email is that I am an avid email user. That's right. You can talk about email just as much as I can, and we can all talk about email. And I'm super excited that there's a there's a, a, a channel to talk about it afterwards, because there's a lot of people who have a lot of really great things to say about it so far. Even, even so far, there's there's been a lot of really great postings about it, about just about email in the in the channel. OK, cool. So let's get excited about email. But why? After all, like many of the tools that we use today, email is a, uh, a tool that was made, uh, is a wartime tool. It was made uh, the internet's, it was made for the internet's predecessor, ARPANET, by Roy Tomlinson. And even that, the uh, beginning of email, the inventor of email is contested. It is uh, debated between who made email, between uh, Shibuya Ayodurai, who created the kind of uh, desktop uh, or a desk analogy for email and Roy Tomlinson who created like the, the protocol for it. It's like very heatedly contested who made email. And also the email is, is, is people say that email is exactly like the post or is, is an analogy to the post system, except all of the letters are trans or all of the envelopes are transparent. So it's like, okay, why are we getting, why should we get excited about this thing? It's just kind of here all the time. And also there's spam email. Of course this is, um, this is one of the lowest voted Stack Overflow questions. Um, how to send 100,000 emails weekly? Because uh, everyone just hate. Everyone has such like a. Everyone just hates spam mail. Uh, why? Why do you want to send 100,000 emails weekly? They don't, even, they don't even talk about it. It's really funny. Okay, so why? Well. Email for me and many others is the only method of long distance uh, communication that doesn't necessarily have to rely on a big tech company or the government. Um, it's you could debate both of those are for, for profit. And so technically you can run your own email server, which is this is the reason what got me excited about email in the first place. I just recently started kind of investigating it. Uh, I guess like recently in the span of email, it's been it was born in the 70s. Uh, <laughs> um, and so and also there's a call to I embrace maintenance over innovation. I think Taeyun's keynote touched on this a lot too, um, in that like email's here and it's here to stay. And email is like it, the internet passport at the book, you know, it's always been the internet passport. It's kind of like, if you wanna, you know, have an identity on social media, you use your email. If you wanna get verified on Neopets, you use your email. It's just kind of like the a form of identification that everyone uses. And so it can be, it kind of has this potential to because it, it can't has the potential to be peer to peer, and um, and it, it's already so widespread. It, it has a lot of potential hidden within it, and so that's why that's what my big inspiration of this talk is about. Um, and now we're we kind of got over like the big overview. Um, I want to introduce. We'll talk to a little bit about some cool email fun facts I came across in my research. Um, you can't. And this is in the the SMTP secure. Uh, uh, Secure mail transfer protocol. We'll get back to SMTP later, but this is in the SMTP specification in that um, you can add a plus at the end of the first part of your email. So if your email is like contact at sharstyles.com, I can do contact plus and then I can put whatever I want and it'll send it fine. It'll ignore everything after the plus. I like to think about it as you could make it a little diary that you can put in you know, how you're feeling that day when someone emails you back or a bot emails you back with that email, like, oh yeah, I was feeling like that that day. And also in the specification, it ignores dots. So I can be Char's styles or I can be Char's tiles. Um, another really cool story about email is how Git came to be. And you can, and Git itself, like the, the, the like the, yeah, the, yeah, Git itself is maintained through an email list. Um, and that's, I, I'm gonna have, I had to put one slide about this story just cause it's really cool. So Linus Torvalds uh, had Linux being maintained on this uh, like company servers called BitKeeper. And uh, when BitKeeper started to kind of roll out, it's like paid plan, they wanted to get away from that. And so he made Git, um, which allowed you to self to have uh, your own open source project be self-hosted and for it to be um, maintained through an email list that you would send a request to a patch as like an 
to the email list and then it would relay that to everyone else. And then people would comment on like an email chain and then that email chain is a documentation for the patch. And so it created a more conversational based um, uh, uh, like maintenance system. So I think that's really cool. I haven't tried um, like sending a patch through an email yet, but I that's a goal to do that one day. Um, and I wanted, so I said I'd go over SMTP again. Uh, I really, this is uh, again in the um, RFC, which is kind of like the uh, internet standard protocol uh, document uh, of SMTP. It's just, it's just really simple. I wanted to kind of go over how you can hand send an email. So this is hypothetically um, how you can send an email, like using a few of Windows, you would install Telnet. And if you have Linux or Mac, you can use Netcat. And so you'd say Telnet or Netcat. And then you just say the server that you're going to be connecting to to send. And then the port, which is 25, which is the email port. And then you say, so this is part of the protocol now. So after you connect to that, you start writing SMTP protocol. The first uh, thing you, you write is hello with one L. And I just think that's the most adorable thing. You can also do e, e hello or E, what is it, E-H-L-O. I don't know why they could do either one. It's like so wishy-washy, I, I, I love it. And then you can say, you don't have to, but then you're, you're supposed to say the server that you're connecting to. Um, and then after that, you can say whatever you want. So you can say, this is called like the SMT banner. And so you can say like, hello, and then the server you're connecting to, nice to meet you. Uh, I mean, you don't even have to put the server there, but if you don't, you're probably gonna, there's a lot of things that can get you put on the spam list, but I'm gonna get a little more into that later. Right now we're kind of looking at the, the, the beautiful simplicity of SMTP. And then you say who you're from, like you just say who you are and then it, you, there's no verification. Just say, hey, what's up, I'm this. And then you say who you're sending it to. And then you start the you say data to kind of prepare, be like, okay, I'm gonna talk with you now. Yeah, I'm gonna put my data. You say, again, so this is the display name uh, is for like the email renderer for like, you know, whatever you're using. Oh, am I already at 53? Oh, when did I start? That's okay. Okay, and then you just have the, the subject and, uh, and then the email body and you end it with a period. It's like a sentence. I just love the simplicity of this, but I wanted to quote uh, Hilary Orman who wrote a great book about email encryption. She says, though this seemed like a logical, um, it, it, though this seemed logical, it runs into a variety of problems. So, yeah, that's it, it's it's awesome. It's really simple, but then it runs into a variety of problems. So, email because of this simplicity, because it's like almost naivety, it becomes sort of like a Frankenstein's monster, where uh, where you, where things just started to you to like for like uh, for like attachments, you just add more to the header. Then you have um, you have uh, mime for that and then you have other sorts like if you want to add encryption you just keep adding on to the header and, and it becomes this kind of like like this frankenstein of of a software but honestly like what software do we use that's not a frankenstein so you know it's not <laughs> so i was thinking how do we get how do we get how are we going to get you know more excited about email and i was thinking and i was thinking and i was thinking and i thought well what's hot right now there's this bitcoin there's 3d printing there's machine learning those things are all pretty hot right now all right, and I was saying, what's at the intersection of these, of these three things? Well, they're all pretty unreliable. Unreliable Bitcoin, unreliable 3D printing, unreliable machine learning. Well, a euphemism for unreliable would be that it just needs faith, right? Just, just needs a little faith. You need to pray to it a little bit for it to work. And that's why I made computer faith, which is my email server. <laughs> um, and I'll show you, I'll just show you it really quick. So it's, it's really, it's really, it's not like, I know a lot of people very seriously serve their own mails, email, but I feel like I just get, got into this venture. So it's not at all anything that I need. That, I, that thing on the bottom. Yeah. So, you know, I, but I wanted to show you, so, so, so the special thing about this uh, email server uh, is that when you compose a message, this time I send a message to myself. Me, oh, okay. And then I'm gonna say, yes, okay. hello, I, oh no, no, I'm gonna use one L, hello. I have, okay. And, and then if we go here, oh no, where is it? 
Did I not send it to myself? Here, message. Okay, cool. Oh, well, it doesn't look exactly the same way that it should. That's because in this email server, I randomly replace letters and I do some sort of, so it's like, it, it kind of is mischievous in the way that it doesn't accurately send your message. And you kind of have to, like, I think that if you were to sort of send this, you would kind of get it. I have fate. Okay, I get it. Um, but it's not necessarily, like, it doesn't necessarily make sense. What is, what is this? Anyways, that's that's my that's my email server that doesn't. It just does some simple text replacement, but it was just really fun to make. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's go back into my presentation. Again, yeah, the, there's one thing that I want to take away from this talk. I'm going to keep. I'm going to echo. I'm going to kind of roll off the kind of sentiment that's been going on here. Um, so, like as in Dylan said, he says uh, that Dylan talk was about DNS. I really really love that talk, obviously, because mine's also like historically about an old protocol, uh, the things that, that people were and weren't thinking about when it was made, uh, and we need to approach it as anthropologists, kind of like, okay, so now, well, email is this way that it is, and, and if we can just kind of work with that, and kind of create something new and beautiful. Um, and that, you know, yeah. Does anyone have any email lists? No? Start one, if you so desire, and please, this is my call to use the uh, email, the email um, Discord channel, as a way to kind of put your email list. Because I, I think that I've been starting to like subscribe to all my friends' email lists, and it really made my inbox a nicer place. I have an email list. You can join it if you so desire. Um, oh, yeah. You can join that. I don't know if you want to, but you can if you do. It's just going to be like updates and thoughts and stuff like that. Very meandering. Okay. Thank you. 